Hello and welcome back to our channel dedicated to aviation and space. In today's video, we'll be exploring the fascinating history of the Mirage 4, a supersonic bomber and reconnaissance aircraft that was in service with the French Air Force from the early 1960s until the mid-2000s. With its sleek design, impressive speed, and long-range capabilities, the Mirage 4 was a technological marvel of its time, and it still holds a special place in the hearts of aviation enthusiasts around the world. The Mirage 4 was an impressive aircraft in terms of its technical specifications. It had a length of 23.5 meters, a wingspan of 11.8 meters, and a height of 5.4 meters. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 33,000 kilograms and could carry up to 7,000 kilograms of weapons. The Mirage 4 was powered by two Snecma Aider 09K turbojet engines, which gave it a maximum speed of Mach 2.2, that's more than 2,000 kilometers per hour, and maximum altitude of 18,000 meters. Its combat range was around 1,240 kilometers with a full payload. The aircraft was designed as a nuclear strike bomber, capable of carrying a single nuclear bomb with a yield of up to 60 kilotons. It could also be used for conventional bombing missions, as well as reconnaissance flights thanks to its cameras and other sensors. The Mirage 4 was a key component of France's nuclear deterrence strategy during the Cold War, and it was often used to demonstrate French military might in international air shows. One of the most distinctive features of the Mirage 4 was its delta wing design, which gave it excellent high altitude performance and stability. In fact, during its operational lifetime, no Mirage 4 was ever shot down in combat. Another unique feature was its retractable refueling probe, which allowed it to receive fuel in mid-air from tanker aircraft, extending its already impressive range. So what was it like to fly the Mirage 4? Well, according to pilots who flew the aircraft, it was an exhilarating experience. The sheer speed and power of the Aider engines meant that the Mirage 4 could climb to cruising altitude in a matter of minutes. However, it was also a demanding aircraft to fly, with a high landing speed and a tendency to overheat during long flights. Maintenance was also a challenge, as the aircraft's complex systems required specialized training and equipment. Despite these challenges, the Mirage 4 was a beloved aircraft among its pilots, who appreciated its speed, power, and versatility. The Mirage 4 played an important role in French aviation history and in the history of the Cold War. Its nuclear capability was a key part of France's defense strategy, and its ability to fly at supersonic speeds made it a symbol of French technological prowess. The Mirage 4 was also a source of national pride, and it was often used in international air shows to showcase French aviation technology. However, by the 1990s, the Mirage 4 was becoming outdated, and it was eventually retired from service in the mid-2000s, replaced by more modern aircraft such as the Mirage 2000. Today, only a few Mirage 4s remain in museums and private collections, but their legacy lives on in the hearts and minds of aviation enthusiasts around the world. And that brings us to the end of our video on the Mirage 4. We hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the history and technical specifications of this incredible aircraft. If you have any questions or comments about the Mirage 4, please let us know in the comments section below. And as always, 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.